the mistress 1200 that's what i've planned for a while to put into my 1200 the mistress 1200 is a io board for the mister project which is based on the de 10 no fpga board from intel it has support for the original a1200 keyboard which is why I bought myself this a few weeks ago. Let's mount it all together and give it a try. I hope everything works. It should. And here it is, the mighty Mistress 1200. This is where we connect uh, some of the I.O. ports. And this is the power connector to the DE10 Nano. So when we connect this inside the A1200 case, the DE10 Nano goes on like this. Or this way rather. So let's bring in the A1200 case. This is the new case from a1200.net with the brand new keyboard I showed you a few weeks ago. So this will be the new home for the FPGA based Amiga 1200. The mistress came with this 3D printed covers that makes uh, the ports look a bit cleaner from the back side. So they're getting mounted like this. And it also came with this, which has a placement for a hard drive. If I prefer to use that rather than using a SD card. So let's first mount the ports. Here is an HDMI extender that's going from the DE10 Nano into the back of the A1200 case. And here is a Ethernet extender. That will also extend the Ethernet port on the DE10 Nano. So let's mount this uh, cover on the Mistress 1200 and put it in the case like this. Next up is uh, this port, the HDMI and the Ethernet. It goes on here. It sort of clips in place and that is uh, hold it steadily in place with this. And then we simply screw a screw through here. From underneath like this. Next up is mounting the DE10 Nano itself. That is being mounted here, like this. And now that the D10 is uh, mounted, we can connect the cable. Here is the power cable. Let's put it like, like this, so there is no strength on the, on the plug. And this is what connects the I.O. board to the D10 Nano. So we need to concentrate and get these pins exactly where they're supposed to go. The Ethernet goes in here and the HDMI goes into, you guessed it, the HDMI port. Let's guide it into, oh, come on into here. Next up is the cooling fan. And this is where I run into some trouble because my prior cooling solution for the Mister is a bit too big for the A1200 case. So here is the new one installed. And then this fan holder will fit perfectly. So let's move the fan over to this one and put in the screws. Perfect. Last thing is to connect 
to the internal USB hub on the mistress to the D10 Nano with this internal cable. And then I think it's time for a quick test just to see if the system works. So in with the SD card like this and turn it on and it works. And now before the system is complete, let's put this nice new shiny keyboard in place. And connect it through the ribbon cable, just like on a normal A1200. The mistress also has connections for the original LEDs on the A1200, so let's see if that works. Let's turn it on. And power lights is on. Floppy drive light is on. And the hard drive lights activity when the hard drive is working. There is no floppy drive in this case, but there is work going on to make the drawbridge work. But I am not really sure what uh, the floppy drive light is doing. I will look into that or perhaps just cut the cable if I am unable to find out what's going on. Now I want to give you a brief demo of, uh, of the system as it is now working. When I turn it on like this, the Mister system is set up to auto boot into the Amiga FPGA core. So as soon as the system is done initializing, it boots straight into Amiga OS, like this. Let's first get this out of the way, because you're all wondering how fast is this. The FPGA is uh, recreated a 68020 and uh, it is a fast 68020 but it's not a super fast one. It's not like uh, uh, in WinUI or uh, 060 or something like that. It is pretty spot on as fast as a 68030 50 megahertz. So if we want to do things with this, like using Cinema 4D. It is on the same speed as a real Amiga, which is sort of what I like about this way. The emulation is accurate, if you call it emulation. It is a recreation in soft that is run on the FPGA. Complicated and uh, no one seems to agree what to call it. But if we show this uh, uh, stairway picture, it will take some time to render. It's not, it's not at all like an 060 Amiga. So this is more like my original 1200, which had an 030 50 megahertz in it. Which is the goal of this? I have another computer to run 060 stuff on. And we are halfway there. And it's done. It took 1 minute and 12 seconds to render a preview of this picture. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so let's quit this. One of the neat things about um, about the FPGA core for the Mister for the Amiga is that it supports RTG. So I can use any resolution up to at least twenty. 
1080p, 1080p should work, or 1920 by 1200 should work. But let's just use 1280 by 720, or 720p as some call it. I think that should be enough. It looks a bit tiny everything, maybe do 960 by 600. Yes, this looks okay. And as a normal Amiga, I can use um, control uh, Amiga Amiga like this to reboot it. Because when the core is loaded, it's, it's not like yeah, another emulation where you have uh, a Linux desktop behind it. You are just in the core. Um, so I'm in every way just running an Amiga. It's no Linux behind here. It's not Windows behind here. It's just running the core. There is a um, Linux distro running on the mister to configure and loading course and taking care of uh, uh, disk images and stuff like that. And uh, there is a button on the back of it. And if I press that, I can change settings and stuff like that in the mini mig Mr. Core. Another cool thing about this is the support for real Amiga joysticks. And if we just start a random game like this, maybe Lotus 2. And as you can see, it is now stretching. And I can tell the core not to do that by pressing this and go to audio and video and say aspect ratio to original. Actually, it was original. I think it was my monitor that did that because it was set to original. Not sure. Like that. But anyway, as you can see, the joystick works. So this is quite a good setup to do WHD load setups on and run games from the hard drive. And as it is uh, the core is have recreated a 68020. It's very compatible with uh, old hardware software. Go. I will look into the scaling because it was set to don't scale, but they use. Um, original aspect radio. So I will um, need to look into that. I will write a comment here, what I found out, if it is the monitor or if it is a bug in the FPGA core at the moment. But let's not... Uh, I will play Lotus forever. So let's just reboot. I could press Dell, I forget that when using WHD loader you can just go out of it. I'm not used to using WHD loader. Now this being the new keyboard, we now have a very very nice keyboard, modern keyboard with um, Cherry MX switches.
It is something completely different than the original A1200. It's a lot better. Of course, this being a mister, we can load other cores. So if we press the button on the back side and enter core, we can say that this should now be an Amiga 600 H with the hard drive, just like this. And now it will load the core into the FPGA and boot it. And now it's booting. So now I'm running an A600 and I can use that for stuff. <laughs> like running Deluxe Paint, Pro Tracker. Not sure if I have any data here. Load module. Oh, it's not set up um, with the directories it needs. I've never used this setup before. If, even though this is uh, now my Amiga 1200, it can become the enemy if I wanted to. I can load um, PC core into the F FPGA. It emulates uh, 486. So I've set up some DOS games. Like, I don't know. Settlers 2, perhaps. And it now loads the 486 core into the FPGA and boots a DOS setup that boots directly into the Settlers. So if I quit, you can see now I'm in DOS. I'm not going to go on a deep dive into Mister, I think, because it is. Um, I, I would need to prepare for that, and uh, I, my plan is to mostly use it to run my Amiga setup like this. I think that's enough. I'm, I'm starting to rambling, so. Uh, everything works and I'm very happy about the breakout board for the mister for the A1200. The keyboard controller works with the with an original A1200 keyboard which is great. I can use joysticks. I can do anything I like. It supports RTG. I can set up networking if I like. Um, the mister can pretend to be an, uh, a PPP connection, so I can use use that to set up internet on it if I like. It's it's a very nice setup. I think with that, that I want to go back to how my channel original was now, tinkering with the software. I never planned my channel to go into hardware stuff like it's done lately, and it's. It's been quite a lot of hardware uh, the last year or so. So my plan now is to go back to my original concept and tinker with the software and just have fun with the with the things I already have. I hope that you join me on that when I return because I'm going to need a short break on my channel because there is some things uh, happening in my life that I need to focus on at the moment, but I will be back and everything is fine. It's just something nice thing happening in life that I want to use my time on. Thanks for watching. And for those of you that wanted uh, a cheers today, I forgot to buy myself a beer. That's life sometimes.